Welcome to the first Funko Pop hunting video. This is the introduction that I'm filming the day before I actually go out because tomorrow I um, have to make sure we're ready in the morning before we leave because we're heading out of town to Plymouth, Colorado. My wife has an appointment up there and so I'm driving, I'm being, I'm driving, I'm and all that. I just, I'm needed. Let's, let's put it as simple as that. I need it along um, for the trip. So, but while we're up there, we're going early, we're going to the mall, we're going to other places, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do, look, look for some Funko Pop video, Funko Pops, so. We're gonna stop, I'm gonna stop by Barnes Noble, I believe, hopefully, and all that, and uh, Hot Topic, but we'll see. We'll see what we have time for, so. I'm filming this now to explain, because most likely I'm gonna have sound off for the entire trip, or for the entire video, otherwise it'll be just music, while, you know, while I'm looking around kind of a thing, you know, looking at stuff, so we'll see what I end up doing, so all that, because uh, I think Hot Topic plays music, and I just don't want to be copyrighted and all that, so anyway, hope you enjoy this video, hope you enjoy the hunting haul, and stay tuned for after the the, the uh, hunting portion, and we'll uh, see what I got, so see you guys in a few minutes, talk to you later. Hey everyone, Mr. Comics 89 here on my Funko Pop hunting haul. The first step, I'm here in Pueblo, Colorado. The first stop is going to be Barnes & Noble. The next stop will be Hot Topic in the Pueblo Mall here. And if we have enough time, I might stop by Spencer's, which is also in the Pueblo Mall. So, wish me luck in finding something good. Alright, walking into Barnes & Noble. Hopefully everyone can hear me through the mask and my headphones on. Let's see what we can find inside these doors. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's see what we got. Oh, cool. Gamerverse Penny. You know what, I might just have to get that one. I like Penny from Big Bang Theory. And one of the funnier moments of her. Let's see, put it over here for now. Alan Parrish, Wonder Woman, Dark Phoenix, some cool stuff, cool, now I like Harry Potter, but I've never been a fan of much, although I might get that one just because of the two wands, and I think I will. Kind of looks like Stan Lee. Uh. Awesome. Yes, I'd like to purge this selection here. Get rid of this. Get rid of it entirely. <laughs> Beast Taskmaster. Oh. Yes. Hey everyone, the first stop here at Barnes & Noble was pretty successful. Next up 
Pueblo Mall and Hot Topic and Spencer's if we have time. So, see you in a second. So I've decided to make one final stop before I, you know, before I, you know, head home and call it quits, you know, to pick up my wife from her appointment. And I'm gonna do one more final stop and that is Walmart. So we're gonna see what Funko Pops this Walmart in Pueblo has for me. So let's see what they got. officially back home it was a long day it was a long day I gotta tell you so you know I was still running all around Pueblo had the fun ran the errands see my phone pop, pop hunting went to a couple places went to Barnes and Noble Hot Topic Spencer's GameStop and Walmart Spencer's was a no-go you know, like you saw, like I might, might have seen in the video, video footage here, since it was a no-go. I chose not to get anything at GameStop. And, um, but I got something from Barnes & Noble, Hot Topic, and Walmart, so. Here you go. First stop I did at Barnes & Noble, picked up four pops. Got Benjamin Franklin of the American History. I like Ben Franklin. He's a, uh, he's a cool guy. Very interesting um, past and all that, so. Very, very, very important founding father. I love how the glasses are set up. So. Got Benjamin Franklin. Next up, I got a... I thought I would normally get one, get this. I thought I normally wouldn't get one of these. Because I just do not... I love Harry Potter. But I'm hard pressed to find a Punk Funko I like, but I liked this one. This is Harry Potter Barnes and Noble exclusive. This is where Harry Potter just defeated Voldemort. And yeah, because he has the Elder Wand in one hand and Draco's wand or his wand in the other. You can tell better there. So really cool. So I just I couldn't I like this one, couldn't pass it up. Harry Potter has been very important to my life. So, I couldn't pass this one up for sure. Next up, I got Penny from the Bing Bang Theory. This is her uh, gaming on the couch. You know, uh, 
on the couch mode and she just, you know, eating Cheetos, lost her job, you know, stuck there. You know, pretty cool. Couldn't pass it up. Of course, the only ones I, only one I want from this collection here, I want uh, Leonard Hostetter in the robe with a sarcasm sign. That's, you know, the one I really want of Leonard. And the last one I got from Barnes & Noble, I think is one of, my, one of the two favorite pops that I got. I mean, this is, if I had to pick a single favorite one, this one's it. It is Mary Jane from, you know, and from Far From Home, and she's holding the, uh, uh, what is that? The, uh, um, she's holding the smasher, the, uh, mace, there you go. She's holding the mace. Just, I love this Mary Jane. I wasn't a fan of her at first. I had to warm up to her after her two or three times watching the movie. But I do like this this one. In fact, I think she's even wearing the Black Dahlia necklace. Can't really get an angle on it, but I really like this one. All right, next is Hot Topic. I picked up two from there and I said I picked up Squirtle from Pokemon, and it's kind of funny because Squirtle was one of my favorite is my favorite games as a kid, and I played you know Pokemon you know as a you know kid, the game, and which is funny. The very first one I bought was Game Boy Blue, Game Boy you know Game Boy the Pokemon Blue, you know you know and the Pokemon Blue version, and the very first Pokemon I gra I used, I grabbed Squirtle. So I thought it was kind of fitting that I, uh, kind of fitting that I picked up, um, you know, kind of humorous and fitting that I picked up Squirtle for my first Pokemon. So that's the first one I picked up a Hot Topic. And then I almost missed this one because it was very high up on the shelf, but I couldn't pass this one up. One of my other favorite Pokemon, Mewtwo. I love Mewtwo. It's the power behind him. Really, really cool. I passed up Vulpix and Pichu. Just weren't interesting to me. But I liked Mewtwo and uh, Squirtle. So that's what I got from Hot Topic. I almost grabbed that, like I said, I almost really wanted that Doc Ock, not Doc Ock, Doctor Doom. And I would have gotten it. But the boxes, I don't know, I, I had to pass. Pass on the boxes. And so the last pop that I got, I had dropped my wife off to her dentist appointment. And I I didn't want to wait around for a full hour and a half that was there. So I ran down the street to Walmart. Figured I'd look at the Funko Pops there. You know? And I came across this one. This is actually one I wanted and was hoping I'd see in Hot Topic and other places. But... I picked it up, and I love it. It is Galactus from the Fantastic Four. So, really, really cool. That is awesome. So, super excited to have Galactus there. So, like I said, the two favorite, my two favorite pops from today are Galactus that I got from Walmart and MJ that I got from Barnes & Noble. Neither are worth more than like eight, nine bucks, but according to the Funko app, but I love them. I'm more than happy with them. So that was my first ever hunting Funko Pop haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hit me hit that sub button if you're not subbed up yet. Hit that notification bell. And stay tuned for more videos coming down the line. Thank you for watching. And have a good night. Happy collecting, everyone. Talk to you later.